Hi, it's T with T Quilts, and we're here to do our completed finishes video for the month of December. Today is December 11th, 2020, so I'm going to start because I have some customer quilts that I need to forward. <music> starting this video in my sewing room just to talk to you all before I go outside uh, it's a little bit chilly outside and I just wanted to say that I have done a few t-shirts this month and I did forget to take pictures of some of them uh, but I did a couple of tea quilts shirts and I hope to put pictures up here I also did some black lives matter shirts and I did a state quilter or two quote uh, quilting t-shirts but I don't think I took pictures of both of them. I think I may have the one from Maryland. But if I whatever pictures I have, I'll go ahead and just put them on the screen for you guys. And also, before we go outside, I just wanted to show you a chain piecing project that I'm working on. I still need to add borders. But I just thought that I'd go ahead and add it in here as well. I'm working on the Christmas tree pattern from Jordan Fabrics. I used it as a chain piecing project as I was working on another project. And I already had a lot of these two inch squares already cut. So I didn't have to do a whole lot of work to uh, make this little mini quilt. I have a couple of Christmas prints in here. But the, it's not going to be like an actual Christmas tree. I'm going to probably finish it off for somebody and just make it so that it's just a daily wall hanger so I haven't decided on my border uh, colors yet but other than that let's just go outside and get started and I'll show you what I've been up to so far alright guys we're outside so I can show you what I've been working on and do remember that we also have a metropolitan sewer district working in our neighborhood replacing our sewer system so it's gonna be noisy in the background and it's also another windy day but this first quilt is a customer's quilt and I call it the old lady that lived in a shoe <laughs> um, and she's this is a charity quilt this and her next quilt is a charity quilt so I just wanted to share it with you all I thought it was really pretty I had a hard time deciding what color thread to use to quilt this one with because it had so many different colors. I originally wanted to use, you know, brown because most of it is brown, like a uh, brown color. I thought about using blue, but then I didn't think the blue would work very well with the grass. And so I ended up just using a, a tan color thread um, just to get the quilting done. And I'm like, why are you fretting over this? It's a charity quilt. but. This one for me was hard for me to actually know what to quilt on it. So we're gonna go ahead and show you the back. It's just a small calico print, but I will show it to you anyways. So you should be able to see the quilting. It's called Sashiko, um, and it has like a number to it. It's that clamshell, but it has these kickouts in it, and I don't remember the actual name of the Panto, I mean the uh, Sashiko pattern name, but if I remember, I'll try to put it on the screen for you because I've done some Sashiko as well. And like I said, the back is just really plain um, calico print, but you can see the detail on the back as well. And that's kind of the color of thread that I use, the background on this um, quilt back. So we'll move on to quilt number two. So quilt number two is also a charity quilt. It's a sampler quilt. And 
she i think these were blocks that were left over from long long time ago of a gill block exchange and so she just put these together into this setting so that she could donate this quilt to charity i think it's very pretty i did the chantilly lace design for quilting on this let me zoom in so you can see that i like the chantilly lace because if you don't like very dense quilting uh, it fills your design very well and I guess too since I'm computerized now that I can also make designs any size I want so if you still wanted this design and wanted it smaller I could do that as well it's just that when I make design smaller then I have to charge more because it takes me longer to quilt the pantos out but technically I can make a design any size I want but that is her sampler quilt and on the back is another uh, small viney type print. Nothing um, spectacular, but I'll show you the backs anyway. I know some people like to see the backs. So here is the back of this particular quilt. Again, I told you it's not really much to see, but you could see the design on the front just as well as on the back. And now we're ready to move on to our next project. So here is my next project. It's actually not finished yet, but I've been working on this in the sewing chats on Saturday nights. And I wanted to just come show it to you because I could not show the entire thing while I was actually sewing on it. Uh, it is right now currently 86.5 inches square. And I think I am going to add a couple of borders to it it just needs to be finished off to me um this is the this this pattern is called this pattern is called simplish and i found that it is no longer available for free so there is no need for me to link this for you uh you can look up simplish s i m p l i s h and see if you can find it available for sale but it's no longer available for free um, my scrap club did this about four years ago and i was late on the bandwagon getting mines done so that is why i am doing mines now but i also did make my sections bigger and i also changed the setting of this uh, design to make it look more like windows um, they just use the same color sashing throughout their quilt top and I use two different sashing fabrics between mine. So again, this is uh, the fabrics that I got from Judy Judy and it's the K Facet fabrics and I do have one more print that she gave me that I'm going to use for one of the borders that I'm going to add. But I just thought that I would put this in here since I have it available right now in case I don't get it finished by the end of the month but if i do get it finished by the end of the month of course i'll bring it back so this next quilt is a quilt top of one of my customers peggy's quilt peggy o'connor she comes on to my chats on wednesdays and saturday nights so uh, i really like this quilt top very geometrical and she also chose the geometrical quilting design called herringbone and I can zoom in a little bit so you can see that. And I like that none of her pieces match. Um, that it's all made so that none of the seams are matching when the diamonds come together. I actually like that. And this herringbone design, she chose herself. Which I do like sometimes when people have know what they want and can tell me what they want. And uh, I just think it's gorgeous. Love the colors. Love her whole cool top love the quilting that's on it as well but just beautiful job all in all so that's it for right now thank you all so much for watching please remember to like comment and subscribe share my channel with your other quilting friends and i'll see you in my next video bye bye t quilters stay blessed